guys, in today's video we will talk about biodiversity, what sampling is and some of the techniques you can use to sample areas. We will finish with an exam style question. So biodiversity is the measure of variation in the living world and this is a pretty broad explanation or pretty broad definition uh, but it can be split up into three large levels. Um, firstly we have habitat biodiversity or habitat variation um, and this is simply the measure of a range of habitats in a particular geographical area so you might measure how many sand dunes there are, a pond is a separate habitat even within your own neighbourhood there might be a number of different habitats, you might have grass lawns, you might have parks, you might have shady corners um, these are all separate habitats. Um, secondly, we have variation within uh, of species, sorry. Um, and this simply uh, is the range of organisms in a habitat. Um, so you can measure both species richness and something called species evenness. Species richness is simply the number of different species in the habitat. Species in, uh, evenness is the number of individuals in each species um, and shows you basically how the species are distributed. So if we were to take, um, for example, a park and a garden, and if we were to calculate the percentage coverage of um, each of these two habitats in these uh, species, um, we can see that the park has a relatively even distribution of them all, whereas the garden is um, mostly grass with very few um, of oak, dandelion and daisy. There's no elms. Um, so you can actually see that the species evenness in the park is far greater than that of the garden and therefore the biodiversity is greater in the park than in the garden because the species richness is the same for all of them. Uh, well, actually it's not. Species richness is greater for the park as well than for the garden because um, in the park it's one, two, three, four, five species and in the garden you don't have any elms so it's only four. So that's uh, pretty much how that works. And finally, um, if we are looking at a species we can actually measure the genetic diversity within that species and that um, tells you about the variation between individuals of a species and that is something like um, measuring eye color or a distribution of eye color rather the shoe sizes in your class maybe um, that's all genetic variation um, and genetic variation comes in two forms you can have continuous and discontinuous variation so uh, continuous variation would be something like height where everything is uh, on a numerical scale whereas something like eye colour is um, a category so that's more like discontinuous variation. Hey guys, to continue watching this video completely free and unlock hundreds of other super concise and exam board specific A-level biology videos, just click the button. Join me today and together let's make A-level biology a walk in the park.